So it's been a while I've made any Bentica FS tutorial and in this video I'm going to just do exactly that. And in this particular video, I'm going to do this particular eye transition which Ben TK used in his Europe video. And trust me, it is not an easy method to use. You need to compound and layer each and every portion of the eye separately and then mask each and one of them separately and then keep from each and one of the masking separately so that you guys can get this particular effect. And any problem in masking will result in a very bad video. So make sure to do the masking properly. If you don't do the masking properly, the video will not stand out and it will be really, really bad. So if the masking is different, if the masking is different for each and every cases, then the video will not look good because for each and every layers of the eyes, the masking will differ and there will be some minor gaps between the eyes. So make sure to do the masking properly. And if you didn't understand what I'm saying right now, you will definitely understand while you are watching the tutorial. With that being said, what's up guys, special Sammy here. Welcome to my newest video. I hope you guys are having a great day. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first thing which I want to say about this video is, it is only for Final Cut Pro as of now. But if you guys like the video, do let me know down in the comment section down below, then I will make a Premiere Pro tutorial for this particular video as well. Because if I make two tutorials in this one video, it will be a 30 minute long video and it will not look good. So do let me know down in the comment section down below. So here we are in Final Cut Pro and these are the two footages which I am going to take. This is the eye footage. First I am going to freeze the frame of the first one by pressing Shift plus H and then drag the freeze frame over the first footage just like this and copy this frame three times this is the freeze frame so make sure to copy this frame three times and then go to the effects panel and drag a shape mask onto the topmost layer and then hide the other three layers and then go to the topmost layer play with the radius in such a way that it covers only in the pupil of the eye Adjust it in such a way that it only covers the people of the eye, just like this. Right around here. Yeah. Now go to the second layer. I'm going to adjust it just a little bit more. Maybe increase the radius just a little bit. And then make this a compound clip by pressing Alt plus G. And then go to a second layer and hide the above layer. And then draw a mask again around the outer portion of the eye just like this. And make sure to draw the mask properly because if the masking is not good, this effect will not look good. And play with the feather and fall off as much as you can. Just make sure it looks really good. And then compound this clip. And then drag a draw mask again on this clip. And then draw a mask around the people of this clip. And you can use a shape mask also just like the previous one. And then invert this clip and then make a compound clip again. And then now you have two layers, first one for the only the people, second one for only the outer region of the eye and the third one will be for the other region of the eyes like the white portion and the skin portion. And if you want to edit the people of the eye just like this then you can double click on the compounded layer and then this will appear and then you can adjust the masking in the compounded layer just like this. Just because it is a bit too small I'm going to adjust it just a little bit just like this. Then I'm going to hide this layer. I'm going to hide this one as well. Maybe adjust the masking just a little bit for this one also. And then go to the second layer once more where you have masked the outer portion of the eye and then click on command plus C and then go to the main portion of the clip, the main sequence and then go to the third layer of the eye and go to edit, paste attributes and then paste the draw mask effect onto this clip. What this will basically do is it will apply the same masking effect which was applied on the second clip onto the third clip so that the masking for the outer layer is perfect and then invert the mask and then compound this clip 
this might look a little bit confusing for you so make sure to practice it again and again otherwise it will not look good now you have three layers one for the pupil one for the main outer portion of the eye and the other one for the other portion of the skin and the eye now comes to the main portion of the effect now i want to add a shape mask to this clip again play with the curvature reduce the size to almost zero and set the feather to minus 100 and set a keyframe to the radius go to around to the center of the clip set the radius again and increase the radius to such a extent that it does not cover the pupil of the eye at all now go to the second clip now place a marker on the first clip so that we know where the keyframe for the first clip is ended and then go to the second clip unhide the second clip set a shape mask to the second clip as well Play with the curvature so that you get a circle. And make sure the masking is in the center of the eye, just like this. And play with the feather to soften the edges just a little bit. And make sure that the radius is in such a way that it covers the entire eye. That is the whole eye should be masked and then set a keyframe to the radius and then go almost to the ending of the clip. Set a keyframe to the radius again and reduce the radius all the way to zero. So you have two keyframes, one the pupil is increasing and the second the masking of the outer portion of the eye is decreasing. So the outer portion of the eye is visible. Now all of three are there. Now the first portion of the effect is almost ready. Now unhide the lowermost layer which is the main drone footage. And then you are going to see this effect. Just let it render. Yeah, so you can see this. So the effect is almost pretty much ready. Now you are going to compound this particular clip. Go to a first frame, set the scale to around 400 percent and set a keyframe to the position and the scale. Go to the ending of the clip or almost to the ending of the clip and set a keyframe to the scale and position again. Set the position back to 0 and 0 and set the scale back to 100. Now we are going to say this. Now as you can see at the ending of the compounded clip, the masking is not proper. Like the drone footage at the last clip, the last frame of the eye is visible. It is because the masking is done hurriedly. I have not done the masking properly because I wanted to show you guys. So I made this effect in a bit of hurry. So for you guys to make this effect properly, make sure all the masking, all the feathering, all the masking for the inner portion of the eye, the outer portion of the eye and the main skin portion of the eye is properly accurate. Otherwise it will not look good. Make sure that the masking is accurate, otherwise it will not look good. So I am going to just modify the masking just a little bit here. So this is the final result after I readjusted all the masking and properly stuff and all with proper color grading and cinematic bars. Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you liked my video. So if you are into cinematography, filmmaking, videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff I do in my channel, the free stuff, the transitions, the plugins, the alerts, the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time I make a new video. So let's just join our hands and make this family, make this community as big as we can. And if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos, for the later videos, for the future videos 
videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on instagram at this particular link and i will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as i get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all this other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace